The information I have is around approximately 11.30 a.m. our officers were in the area where they saw a male juvenile fall off his bicycle. Uh, they went over to render aid to that juvenile. Um, a dog was charging towards the juvenile, at which time our officers witnessed the uh, juvenile brandish a firearm. Our officers gave verbal commands, um, at which time the male subject took off on foot, headed southbound, and then our officers gave pursuit, and the suspect then jumped over the fence onto the Valley High campus. How old are we talking in ballpark? That I'm not positive as far as the age. Um, I can give a description. Um, smaller stature, black male juvenile, um, approximately 125 pounds, last seen wearing a gray hoodie and blue jeans. And as far as this running through campus here, how did you guys learn that, what was going on there? Um, I can defer to Kevin. Yeah, so officers uh, Kevin, immediately. Stand right yeah. There. There's one for me. Okay. Yeah, that is, uh, okay. So once officers saw him uh, brandish a firearm, they immediately voiced it over the radio channel. They uh, followed him with the car at first, and then once he entered the Valley High campus, they exited their vehicle. He hopped over a fence onto campus, and at that point, lunch was out, so there were students everywhere, and they lost sight of him, and that's when a perimeter was set up with the outside agencies. Do you believe there's any contact with any of these students? At this point, we don't know. Um, multiple, multiple teams have gone in. They've done a thorough search of the campus. Um, at this time, we do not believe he is on campus. However, they are doing a secondary search at this time to confirm that he's still not on campus. Has he been on your guys' radar for us? That we, this is an unknown subject to us. This was actually just an observation by the officers. They were stopping to render aid. He fell off a bike. Um, it, he didn't see our officers, and they observed him, like Lindsay said. He brandished a firearm, and at that point is when they, they went to contact him. Were there any shots fired? No, no shots were fired. Um, and again, we're just making sure that the school is safe. Um, all of the parents are, have been notified. The students are all locked down in place. They're all safe. There's no issues there. Again, this is an ongoing investigation. You know, our main concern is that everybody is safe, that there are no injuries to any officers, students, and to the suspect. Do you think that the suspect poses a safety concern? Again, our officers, we are, we're currently working with the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office, Sacramento Police Department, we have probation officers out here, and as a precautionary, they are searching each of the classrooms on campus, and we have a perimeter staff in the area. What kind of, kind of gun you're talking about, kind of weapon? It was a semi-automatic handgun. Yeah, and as far as lockdown, schools in the area, neighborhood itself? Um, I do not have that information right now. What would you suggest uh, people in the community right now? Um, I know that overhead they're giving messages. A sheriff's helicopter is up telling people to stay inside just as precautionary. Again, as officers are searching uh, throughout the area. About those messages, they were saying convicted felon in the messages that they were saying in the job. Again, we do not have information as far as the identity of the suspect. Again, it, it is a smaller stature, uh, male, juvenile. Again, we, our biggest goal is that everyone is safe. Right, so is it Valley High School, again, is it still on lockdown to your knowledge? To my knowledge, it is still on lockdown. How about the junior college here as consumers? Is that locked down? As far as I know, no. no. Was it ever on lockdown? Not that I'm aware of. but. I'd have to get that information to you later. Just the high school. About 23 minutes ago, there was a report of an armed robbery at a nearby 24-hour uh, fitness with subjects that kind of match the description. Any idea that that might be related? Um, I do not have the information at this time. Where actually did he fall off this bike when you guys first came into contact? Um, I'm not aware of the exact location. I don't know. Yeah, he fell off his bike probably about a block or two from the school. Uh, he fell off his bike and then he actually took a right hand turn right into the school parking lot. So he was very close to the school. Yeah, I'm search area right now is from on the south end of the high school up to how far north? I'm not exactly sure of the whole perimeter. They set up a pretty wide perimeter, uh, but our focus is again that the school, that we make sure all the school uh, students and staff are safe. You said a right hand turn so he got on his bike and took off? No, he, he ran. He, so he, he remained on foot the whole time. So he left his bike there? Correct. Yeah, my name is uh, Kevin Flores, F L O R E S, and I'm a supervisor watch commander. K E V I N. Yes. Are the uh, announcements yielding any uh, call ins from the neighborhood? I don't have that information right now.